Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. And, well, we're in my one of my main playthroughs. This is my newest main playthrough. It used to be the World's One version. Uh, it is World's One, mind you, but it used to be the playthrough I used to use for my videos. But I've decided to turn it into one of my main saves. Well, uh, while I love the save and I love the builds I have so far and things like that, um, one thing I'm missing, or my character is missing, I should say, is a freighter. I don't have a freighter yet. I've been in plenty of freighter battles. Every single freighter I've come across has been a C-class freighter and nothing special. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a freighter. I think it's time, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's what daddy wants. Daddy wants a freighter. Let's go get one. So what we need to do is we're going to be pulsing around for a little while or hyperspacing around, if you will, for a little bit and looking for a freighter battle. So the first things first, I would love to get a dreadnought. But one of the key things in order to get a Dreadnought Freighter, you need to have a freighter already. You will not come across a pirate for, uh, Dreadnought battle until you get a regular freighter. So, since that's the freighter I really, really want, that's the one we're going to get. So this is going to be kind of a chopped up video. And you're going to see, uh, I'm going to pause the recording on occasion and then bring it back up and I'll go into an editor and edit some of the boring parts out. So I'm just going to jump around this system from here and look for a nice system I can get into a battle with and see if I can't get a freighter. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit and uh, I'll be jumping around. You'll, next, next you'll see I'll be in a battle. Catch you in a minute. Okay. So we have finally found ourselves into a pirate battle. So this is our first thing that we need to do is actually take on said pirates. And try not to hit all the other ships while we're at it. <laughs> that I had him. Yeah, the weapons on this ship just kind of melt everything. I think I might have hit one of the other guys by accident. Hey, that was it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take this particular uh, freighter at this time. I believe it's over here. Yep, that's it. They're just upside down. Because you have to have a freighter to get a dreadnought. There we go. No idea what our reward was there. Okay, so this is step one. You must have a freighter. We take a look, it's probably going to be a C class. It is. Nothing special there. I'd like to have an S-Class or an A-Class or something like that. But since I'm going after a Dreadnought, I don't really care. Red Path. So instead of taking the reward, we're going to take the ship. There it is. Don't particularly care for this style of ship, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take it anyway. And there we go. So now we have our freighter. Okay. So we can manage fleets, we can get ourselves some more frigates to go along with it, and that's where we are. But we're not satisfied. We want a Dreadnought. Let's go. So, one more battle done. We're on our way. So the next thing we do is we go to another system. And we have just left this ship, so that's going to be our save point depending upon where we go. So we're just going to keep hopping around. You can see I've been to a bunch of different star systems here uh, to check things out. So we're going to just go ahead and pick a different star system and go. Now, we don't expect to get a pirate battle immediately. It may take a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pause again and we'll come back. So this is probably going to turn out to be a pretty short video. So but we're going to show you some of the other ins and outs of what happens with this. And then I'm going to give you a round number of exactly how many times I had to pulse into the pirate battle in order to get what I was looking for. 
So as you can see, nothing here. So each time I go into a new system that there's no battle at, I'm going to stop at the space station to get a save point. And there we go. You have to exit your ship to get your, re your restore point. Why am I doing that? And that's really the key, right? Why are we going ahead and doing this? When we get a restore point saved, what'll happen is as we leave here, it'll auto save certain certain time periods automatically. That's the way No Man's Sky does it now. But if you find a system that has the pirate battle in it, and you get to that system, and you get through the pirate battle, and you find out it's a C-class dreadnought, go back and start again. When you land on the pirate dreadnought and you get out of your ship, a restore point is not made. You do not get a restore point at that time. So you can check out the ship, take a look at it, and realize, okay, this is not the ship I'm looking for. Go back to your restore point, try again. Now, some people have had to do it 50, 60, 70 times in order to get what they're looking for. So, yeah, there's that. Keep that in mind. It could take us a while. So we're going to go ahead and stop at the space station again here. I'm going to get out, do the same thing I did before, and we're going to keep doing that. This is a really cool looking interior. Purple and green. You don't see them like this here, folks. This is really, really nice. That's a really awesome looking station. All right. So we're going to go ahead and exit the station here in just a moment, and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. We'll see you back in just a couple minutes. And guess what? With just a few jumps, we found a pirate system that has a nice pirate dreadnought in it. So let's go ahead and check out the dreadnought. We have to do two things. We're going to have to take out its hyperspace engines first, but we have to get within the shields. See the yellow? Now we can shoot the shields. I mean, shoot the, sh the engines. Okay. Once that's done, you can do one of two things either take out the shield generators or check out their weapons. I choose to take out the shield generators. That's not one of them. That was just the gun. There we go. One half of the ship is now complete. Got to go over the other side. Go to the other trench and do the same thing. Slow down. Got to take that out. So it's a double shot. Take out the fr frigate shield generator and then the shield is gone so you take that part out. There we go. Dreadnought is vulnerable. And it just gave up just at this very second. So we are done. So now we get to check out the Dreadnought and see if it's worth our time. Now what I would suggest doing is just going ahead and, la and, and landing. And just like on the other ship, as soon as we get out, we're going to look down with our visor and check. You notice it doesn't say restore point, right? Look down. It'll tell you what side, what kind of freighter it is. Look at the left side. So this is a C-class again. This is not what we're looking for. So we're going to immediately reload our restore point from three minutes ago. See how that works? And then when we come back, we're going to do this one more time. I'm going to show you the complete next battle so you get an idea of what we're dealing with here. And if we're lucky, we'll get an S-Class on the next run. Now, you can trade up from your old freighter to the new. The problem is it's going to cost many hundreds of millions of dollars. So, off we go from our restore point. We're going to go in hyperspace. And we're going to choose the same system. The same system was over here, I believe. 
I just gotta find it now. Is it down here? That's not it. It started with a P. Hold on. That might be it. Now that I'm looking at it. This is embarrassing. Olaflock? It could be Olaflock. It's possible it's Olaflock. Nope, there it is. Pepper Cop. So it's straight down from where I was at. So right over there. Okay. Parapcock. Par Parapcop. All right, I'm done. Not pronouncing it anymore. We're just going to show up here and we're going to try it again. But we should end up in another pirate battle. As soon as we arrive here, we'll do it again. And here we go. Now, I don't know if my audio is coming through okay. I've got my microphone in front of me, but I noticed that the audio seems to be light. So we'll see what happens here. Here we go. Okay. Terrible flying there. There we go. I think this side is complete. It is. Let's go to the other side. Wait for this one to pop out first. There we go. And now we can get the rest. There we go. Board to negotiate terms. So we're going to head towards the front bay again. One more time. We already get a lot of money for it. Now we gotta see if we can get the freighter itself. Okay, same thing. Look down. Scylla C class. Alright, so this is gonna happen over and over again. So I'm gonna put you guys on hold, if you will, and we'll come back. See you in a few. And we're back once again. And here we are. We're in a different uh, ship now. This took me about seven tries. I've gone to a completely different system. And of course, I look down at this one. And what do you see? It's an S-Class Freighter 26 plus 13. Fleet size. It's in a Corvax system. So we went ahead and got it from here. Again, about seven battles or so. I went ahead and chose this system. And I'll explain it here in just a couple minutes. But let's go ahead up here and get our freighter. So there we go. Pirate Commander begs for mercy. I may name my price. We're going to seize the Dreadnought. See, it's an S-Class. Very sweet looking ship that we got here. Got plenty of goods inside. We're going to compare it to our old unit. And you notice it's not charging us anything. Even though the cost is significantly more, they're not charging us anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's see if we can... can we move these over? I don't think we can. Yes, we're going to claim everything. Transfer a previous freighter base. Yeah, sure, why not? Because you know what? I didn't build anything in that other base. So this is now our ship. We can do whatever we want in here. We can go over here and start building if we wish. We've got a lot to do, don't we? All right. So let's go ahead out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and save this. I think now when we jump in our ship, we're going to go ahead and get a restore point. Let's see. Yes, we do. We got a restore point. So we're all set. So I will explain where we went, and so you understand why I went here. This is now our ship. Yay! I have to get further, far enough away for you to see it. All right. We're at a system called Olaflock. Okay, as you might remember, I was at a system up here, 
and I was going to a system down this way called uh, where to go we're in a very bright area here and I want to find it because uh, this is very important I think personally to what's been happening uh, let's see we went to all these systems here and we went to a system further south it was down here I thought We're going to find it. And the reason why is, first of all, the one thing I want you to notice about this system, take a look at the mercantile. So this is with your economy scanner. Of course, it's pirate controlled, construction area, whatever. But it says mercantile sell 62.8 by 19.6, negative 19.6, okay? The system we were going to was significantly different from that. Um, bad part is, is now I can't find it. Um, hold on a second here. Same systems over and over, right? But if we can even find another pirate system, that would probably do the trick for us. Very bright screen here, guys. Sorry. There it is. Now look at the sell and buy ratio. You notice that the sell ratio is much closer, 41% instead of 60, and buy is 29 instead of 19. So... This is a, if you ask me, it is a much uh, uh, cheaper system, if you will, less on the economy scale. If you go on a one to three scar economy scale, like you would with other systems, like this has a two economy, this has a one economy, et cetera, et cetera. This system that we were going to has a, what I would consider a one or two economy. The system we ended up at has what I would consider a two to three economy. So it's a little bit higher economy, so the better chance of us getting a ship that would uh, register in the S-Class. Chances are higher, so to speak. So that, my friends, is why we did what we did. So that is it, and this is our new freighter in all its glory. Time to name the ship. I am to name the ship. Well, as you know, I am a big fan of the Star Wars universe, and... What better thing to name the ship but after one of Thrawn's personal fleet? Will this be my new Chimera? I think it will. I think we're going to name this the Chimera. So we have some upgrades to do. I've gotten a lot of stuff for freighters in order to get things started. So we're going to go ahead and get that going here. So I'm going to go into my menu, into the freighter, the Sen Senonjus. No, that's not going to work. We are going to name this the, let's see here. I was going to say USS, but that would be incorrect. The EPS, Elon Paul ship, Chimera. And I hope I'm spelling it right. Except we're going to name it the Chimera 5. Because I've had a few saves thus far, and I want to make sure that I have the name properly going along with everything else that I've been doing uh, to honor the other save games I've had. So that is why I'm going to name this the Chimera. So, A-E-R-A, -E that is correct. I just went ahead and double-checked the, the spelling of it, and there we go. This is the new ship of Elon Paul. So I want to thank you all for watching. That's pretty much how you go ahead and get yourself one of these uh, nice dreadnoughts. If you can get yourself into an S class, that'd be fantastic. If you're just saving yourself up for an A class or better, great. That's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and take care. say take care, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye now.